how to draw a background on hover when we hover over a specific bar segment in React Chart.js 2. To create this hover effect with a background, we have to create a custom plugin. So we're going to create here a plugin. And as you can see here, I already have the bar chart drawn. So it's just very straightforward. We say plugins here, and then we're going to put in curly brace and an array of a bracket because it's an array. You could have multiple values in here or multiple plugins. So I will call this the segment highlighter. Uh, highlighter, there you are. Let's copy this. And then I'm going to say here, constant segment highlighter equals, and then in here, I'm going to say ID for the segment highlighter, comma, and then we're going to say, when would we like to draw those items? Well, basically we want to have them behind our data sets. So that will mean before data sets, we will draw the chart, arcs, and I guess the plugin options, although we won't be using these except for the chart. So once we have this, what I want to do is an object destructuring, and I explained in another video understanding chart yes for object destructuring. If you don't know what I'm doing, just watch that video. I'm going to say here the CTX, we'll be using the tooltip. We're going to use the chart area, and probably in the chart area, what we'll be needing is maybe the top position and the height. We don't need much from that. And then finally, we can use the scale, so we can say here the X and Y. Although probably won't be using all of them as well. We can delete them afterwards. So no problem at all. Once we did this, the first thing I want to do here is say ctx.save to save this as our default setup. Now we have all of this. If I save this and refresh, you can see nothing really happens. But what I want to do here is first of all, I want to draw the coordinates. So I'm going to say here, uh, let's see here. We're going to say here, uh, ctx. And we're going to say here, fill style for the color. I guess that will be the first one. And let's make this a very uh, transparent color. So we say RGBA 0, 0, 0, and an alpha value of 0 0.2. Once we did that, I want to say yes, CTX that fill rectangle to draw the rectangle. And we have four specific coordinates, the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and then the width and the height. So we, these are the ones we need to start working with. So let's, I'm just going to put in here default 10, 10, 10, and 10. Save that. Refresh. As you can see, it is clearly here. And maybe you don't see it. We could make this solid for now. And afterwards, you can change that. So now you can see it. What I want to do is I want to make sure that it will cover one specific area here. So first of all, we do know we have here the top value. So we will have to calculate something from somewhere here at the very top. Going all down. So we need to know the top and the width. So, oh, sorry, the uh, height. So we don't, we do know the top here, and we know that the height would be this in pixels. If I save this, these are just these chart area values. Refresh. It already goes from top to bottom. Of course, now it needs to become more intelligent, knowing when we hover over a specific element, going on that element or behind that specific element. Uh, for that, we will have to access something else here. It is the tooltip object. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do very straightforward. I'm going to say if the tooltip, let me say dot underscore active. So if you find a tooltip, in that case, we want to draw our shape. If we don't see it active, then don't draw it. As you can see here, now it's not showing, but the moment I hover, you can see it works. All right, so that is the next part. So the file, the, then the very next step would be make sure that it will hover on that specific location. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do here is we need to figure out our X coordinates for this one. So the, to get our X coordinates, we can basically get on the scale, the X scale here. So what I'm going to do here is the following, say enter. And I can do your console log to get some additional information. And I'm going to get here specifically this here. If I save this, refresh. Open up the developer tab, hover over a element. You can see here we get, of course, the animation, but we get the information here, the data set index and the index number. So in this case, the index number is referring to the bar element. And that's what I need. So I'm going to say here dot index. And if I save that, we should see now, if I do a console log, three, two, one, etc., etc. Very clear. Now I can copy this and probably we can calculate now nicely the following we say here 
constant x coordinate equals this. And then what we have to do here is we're going to use a built in functionality x for the x scale here is a get pixel for the value, which is the index number. So basically, the number, whatever it would be here, convert this into a pixel coordinate. So in the moment we have this, we can just copy this and put that in here. Save, refresh. So now if I move, there we are. Although it's in the center. Why in the center? Because the bar is being calculated starting from the center here. So that would mean that we need to calculate the segment width from this point to that point. So how do we do that? Well, we have to do some tricks here as well. So what I'm going to do here, let's say here, constant segment width. And this will be basically on the width on the X scale. Here's the nice thing of this. And basically we could even get it on here as well. Doesn't matter. It's basically the width from this point to that point. And then all we have to do is to divide it by the amount of data points we have. And that's it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here X dot width which gives us the value and then what I want to do is I want to divide this by the data dot labels and then dot uh, length so we have this and if you're wondering where this data label is coming from it's of course coming from here very up but of course I might uh, need here the data object as well or else it will not recognize it so if I do this get a segment width and this segment width can be in here. Put in there, save, refresh. So now we get this. As you can see here, we get the width, but as I told you earlier, it is always positioned in the center. So that would mean that we need to move basically this width 50% back, or basically whatever the width is from this element, divide by two, and then deduct that width amount to push it here. So what I want to do here in the x coordinate, basically, I just need to figure out how much would be here the starting point by doing deduction of a certain amount. So uh, what we can do here then, I guess, is to calculate here the coordinate, or maybe not even in here, but here above. What I want to do then is I'm going to say here minus our segment width divide by 2. If I save this, refresh, you can see here now we are nicely covering exactly the entire segment of that bar. So final item is to change the color back and here, where is that? Here we're going to say here the alpha value is 0.2, save, and there we are.